Oftentimes, politicians want me to talk about something private that is of medical nature, and usually for me, the answer is no. The reason is that we have Americans who are morbidly curious and international citizens that don't give a shit about our laws, and we have a lot of people across the land who are totally comfortable and totally activated by committing abuse on people like me and others who they feel they need to quote-unquote see. The looky-loo of police officers and sheriff is an immoral practice. What they do is basically roll someone and try to pretend like somebody called or that they're looking for someone, and then they often come up with some lies so that they can try and get your name, and the answer is no. You see, that's actually a federally illegal practice according to people who understand maritime law. In life, we have the right to work from as many companies as we can, as often as we can, and even at the same time to produce a living. What I know is that when people interpret or misinterpret my video chat channel or my audio cast that I'm doing, that something usually bad happens to me. A piece of sunglasses goes away, a set of sunglasses get broken, something from my bag is taken, and it really gets old. Because it's really someone's fetish game that they're playing. And they're lying to themselves about their rights to do it. You see, people will often do what they think they can get away with. Isn't that what some people who are police officers might say to you? That he's getting away with it, she's getting away with that, and maybe they're getting away with things in your mind, but probably not in God's mind over time. You see, God and all heaven and earth knows what he makes, and if he was no longer interested in making people with medical conditions, then basically he would stop doing it. She would stop doing it. So the fact of the matter is that we have a variety of illnesses and diseases like COVID, as well as shortcomings and short givings or misgivings, if you will, about ourselves in terms of body image, that openly is supposed to remind us to come closer to God. It's also supposed to remind us of our mortality rate and how precious time is for people. But there are people who love to isolate people, who like to demand that people rely upon them, and that is a form of abuse. Is a form of financial abuse for someone to give someone money and say, this is for you, use it any way you like. And then they come back later and say, well, because I gave you that money, I'm going to do this to you. Because I helped you that one time with some food that I paid allegedly out of my pocket for you, I'm going to take something from you, I'm going to abuse you, I'm going to cut off your beard, I'm going to cut off your hair, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to while you're sleeping. And no offense, but you wouldn't like if it was happening to you. And I certainly don't really like it happening to me. But what I do know is that the federal government is so on top of here now that at some point some heads will roll.